right, in this video I'll be showing you how to play PlayStation 2 games on your PC using the PCSX2 emulator. Now, there's several ways to get your PlayStation games onto your PC. So you can, you can actually insert the, the game directly into a DVD drive and rip it from there. Or you can actually play the disc from the DVD drive. Or you can download them, uh, download them online from other people that have ripped the discs. So, and then for the controls, you can use just a regular uh, mouse and keyboard, or you can use a regular PC controller, or you can use um, some other consoles controllers, or you can use an actual PlayStation 2 controller because there's a, a USB adapter you can buy online for very cheap. I'll have a link in the video description. And I believe that's everything, so let's get started. Alright, first you can follow the link in the video description to download PCSX2. Now, there's several versions depending on whether you have uh, Windows, Linux, or Mac. So, as you can see, I have uh, Windows, so and be sure to download the latest version so just click download it'll download the installer and you also might want to check out the, some of the optional plugins so. and you'll also need to download the PlayStation 2 BIOS which you can just follow the link in the video description and click download. And then finally, you'll need to download some PlayStation 2 ISOs or ROMs, which you can download from sites like muparadise.me or romhustler.net or romulation.net. So I'll be using MU Paradise. So as you can see, you can browse uh, PlayStation 2 games by alphabetical order, or you can have a list all titles, or you can browse by the top ratings or the top downloaded. And these tend to be the more uh, popular games. So. Right, once you've found a game that you want to download, you can just click the link. And then there's uh, you know, some screenshots or covers. And you can scroll down and then click the direct download link. Scroll down and click the direct download. You may have to enter a CAPTCHA, but It'll uh, start downloading. And unfortunately, uh, PlayStation 2 games are several gigabytes, so they'll take quite a while to download. And unfortunately, you can only download one at a time from MU Paradise. So. But in the meantime, you can insert any uh, PlayStation 2 game and you can rip them to your computer using uh, image burn which you can also download from the video description just create the image file from disk and there it goes or you can actually just play it directly from the disk drive, which I'll show you in just a minute. Alright, once it's finished downloading, you can go back. And download a, a different PlayStation ISO.
the same thing, just click the link. There's the covers and stuff. And click the direct download link. And direct download. Alright, once it's finished downloading, you can go to the desktop or wherever you downloaded everything to. Then run the PCSX2 installer. Click Run. Then click Next. Then click Install. Right, and once it's finished installing, you click Close. Then next you'll want to right click the PlayStation 2 BIOS and extract them using. WinRAR, which you can also download from the video description. And also, be sure to extract the PlayStation 2 games as well. Alright, once they've finished extracting, you can run PCSX2. Select your system default language. Click Apply. And click Next. And under GS or Graphics, you can click Configure. For Resolution, I'd recommend maxing that out. For Renderer, if you have a DirectX 11 hardware, I'd recommend using that. If not, you can also use a DirectX 9. And for Aspect Ratio, you can select Stretch. click OK. And under the pad, you can go to Configure. This, can, this is where you can set up your actual uh, controllers. So you can just simply click the button on screen and then press a uh, button on your controller. Or you can click a button on screen and press a uh, key on your keyboard. So. Once you finish setting up your controller, you can click Apply and click OK. And under SPU2, go to Configure. And these are your audio settings, so if you have trouble with the audio or audio sync, you can try adjusting these. Click OK. And under the CDVD, go to Configure. And if you plan on playing actual uh, PlayStation 2 discs, you can select the DVD drive you plan on using and click OK. Then you can click Next. Okay, next you'll need to open the PlayStation 2 BIOS folder from before. Okay, and then you'll need to copy all the BIOS to the PCSX2's BIOS folder which its default location is in the documents. So PCSX2, BIOS. Just drag and drop or copy everything. And exit. And you can click refresh the list. And next you can select the BIOS that you plan on using for the PlayStation 2 games, depending on the system region or whatever. Click finish. And there you go. There's PCSX2. Now, under uh, system is where you can boot your PlayStation 2 uh, games or ISOs as well as uh, ELF files. And under CDVD is where you can use the ISO selector. You can browse ISO games. Or you go to plugin and that's where you can boot uh, PlayStation 2 games from your disk drive or under no disk this you can boot into your uh, PlayStation 2 BIOS and 
go check that out. And under configure, this is where you can change like you know, the settings from before as well as the emulation settings. So, and also change the this to fit to a window screen. And also under speed hacks, you can try um, adjusting these if you have uh, trouble with the some of the PlayStation 2 games, but unfortunately some of these settings may cause uh, uh, lower compatibility or uh, problems with the game, so you can try adjusting them and click apply. Okay. And also under configure is your memory cards. You can set up your memory cards or whatever and click OK. And under configure, you can change the settings from before, like the, you know, everything. Alright, so let's give it a try. So under no disk, this is where you can just boot into your uh, BIOS. So it's basically like uh, booting your PlayStation 2 without a game in it. Exit. And got a C DVD. And for a plug in, this is being boot uh, PlayStation 2 discs from your DVD drive. So, reboot. Yes. Try loading the ISOs that we downloaded just uh, earlier. So you go under C DVD, and change it to ISO, swap this, then you go C DVD and then ISO selector and browse. And you can go to the desktop or wherever your ISOs are. So let's try Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. System Reboot.
years on the East Coast, it was time to go home. Exit. Now let's try another ISO game. Go to CDBD, ISO Selector. Also, once you've loaded an ISO, it'll be on the a shortcut here. So, so go browse. Let's try Resident Evil 4. Swap disk. Reboot. So there you go. Enjoy your PlayStation 2 games on your PC. Don't forget to like, leave a comment, share, and subscribe. You can also check me out on my website, Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. Thank you for watching.